Macau will lease 12 intermediate jet trainer, Yesha Stage 2 aircraft, to the IF for evaluation, marking a boost to India's self-reliance in defense aviation. The upgraded trainers, featuring a full digital cockpit, will be delivered in batches, starting next year and completed by 2027. The IF will test them over three years to decide on large-scale procurement by 2030. Designed to bridge basic and advanced training, these trainers modernize India's pilot training infrastructure. The IF will adopt the Advanced Short-Range Air-to-Air Missile, Osram, from MBDA, as its primary close combat missile, replacing the Russian R-73, initially integrated on the Tejas MK-1A, alongside Israel's Python-5. Osram will later be standardized across the IF fleet, including Su-30 MKIs. Offering superior range, agility, and infrared technology, the missile boosts India's dogfighting edge. Plans for local production under Atmanur Barbarat will enhance self-reliance, reduce Russian dependence, and open export opportunities. PM Modi announced Mission Sudarshan Chakra, a multi-layered indigenous air and missile defense shield, to protect strategic and civilian sites by 2035. The two-phase plan will integrate systems like ICCS Akishtir, Project Kusha interceptors, AI, and space-based sensors. Phase 1 targets roll out by 2028 to 29. Phase 2 by 2035. Designed to counter missiles, drones, and aircraft, it builds on India's S-400 and Akash systems. The Rupees 1.3 to 1.7 lakh core mission supports Atmanur Barbarat and national security. During the May 2025 India-Pakistan conflict, Operation Sindor, Pakistan hired a Berlin-based satellite firm to monitor IF bases. ISRO detected this surveillance, enabling India to deploy countermeasures. Using dummy movements, decoys, and electronic warfare, the IF misled PAF, concealing real operations. On May 10, India launched surprise strikes on 11 Pakistani air bases, causing major damage. Supported by ISRO and advanced air defenses, this success highlighted India's growing strength in space warfare and battlefield deception. The Indian Army's Mahindra Armado Armored Light Specialist Vehicle, ELSV, has been upgraded with advanced technologies, including a drone mount for a hexacopter and a counter unmanned aerial system, CUES. The hexacopter provides real time intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, while the CUES protects against hostile drones. These features, tailored for scout teams, enhance reconnaissance, prevent ambushes, and improve troop safety in high threat zones. The modular, indigenously built Armado is becoming a force multiplier in modern warfare. Russia will finish delivering 5S-400 air defense systems to India by 2026 under the $5.43 billion deal signed in 2018. Four units are already in India, with the final one arriving next year. Despite earlier U.S. warnings of possible COTSA sanctions, none have been imposed so far. The S-400s proved highly effective during Operation Sindor in May 2025. India has also shown interest in acquiring Russia's advanced S-500 systems for future defense needs. At a recent seminar, Dr. Alexander Huang of Taiwan's Council on Strategic and War Gaming Studies urged Taiwan to consider Indian air defense systems to strengthen its layered defense against China, highlighting India's reliable, neutral, and cost-effective exports, like Akash and MR SAM. Huang said India offers greater flexibility than traditional suppliers. With rising Chinese threats and limited diplomatic partners, Taiwan sees India's proven, affordable systems as a valuable option, echoing interest already shown by nations like Armenia and the Philippines. A CGI video of Israel's Hero 120 loitering munition 
launch from a C-130 transport aircraft, has sparked interest in how India could adopt this concept. With its C-130J fleet and growing indigenous drone programs, India could extend strike range, enhance precision and reduce pilot risk in high-altitude and border operations. Lessons from Operation Sindor, where drones played a major role, underline the need for air-launched loitering systems, like Nagastra-1, to counter Pakistan and China effectively. India's DRDO GTRE has confirmed specifications for its upcoming stealth UCAV, the Robotic Stealth Precision Attack Drone, RSPA, under the Guttuck program. Powered by the indigenously developed Kaveri derivative engine, between 49 to 52 kN thrust, the 13-ton UCAV will fly at Mach 0.9, reach 35,000 feet, and cover over 1,600 nautical miles. With a stealth flying wing design, an internal weapons bay, it can perform precision strikes, reconnaissance and autonomous missions. First flight is targeted by 2030, with four to five prototypes planned. This platform offers India, a cost-effective, high-tech solution for risky missions without risking pilots. After the success of Operation Sindor in May 2025, the Indian Air Force, is pushing for a major expansion of its fighter strength. The earlier CCS mandate of 42 squadrons is under review with proposals to raise the target by 30 to 35 percent to 54 to 56 squadrons, meaning 864 to 1,008 aircraft. This move comes as the IF strength is set to drop to just 29 squadrons with the retirement of MiG-21s. The plan includes large-scale induction of Tejas MK-1A and MK-2, 114 Rafales, the AMCA stealth fighter, and upgraded Su-30 MKIs, alongside strengthened air defense and electronic warfare systems. That's all for today, hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.